Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Well, when I say tutorial, I probably mean a rummage around in the finder and I'll explain why in a minute. But first of all, thank you to everybody who's responded. And as always, please like and subscribe. It really does help. Now, a lot of people asked where we found the audio to go along with the messages in our messages plugin that we released a couple of months ago. So as you can see here, we've got a scrolling message building and it uses the sound effects you'd expect from your phone or indeed your Mac. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty sure we've all seen that. And if you wonder, there are a lot of tutorials how to build the scrolling conversation in Final Cut Pro 10, and I'll link in the description below how to go to those. Right, where do we get the audio from? As you can see, in the browser, we have sent message and receive message. Now, did I download these? No. The good news is they're already on your Mac. You just have to find them. So let me go into the Finder and I'll go to Applications and I'll scroll down and I'll find the Messages app. And as you can see, we just see the icon. Now, before doing this, I have to put the caveat in of whatever you're doing, you're going to mess around with the program. So be really careful what you're doing. If you're a bit worried, you can always zip the application up first and then restore it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and show package contents. Go to the contents down to resources and here you'll see you'll see the AFES in here and those are the sound effects that you want. So uh, we can say file transfer complete or we might say um, one down here receive message you probably need this one. Yep yeah, and sent message. Now those are actually in the package so you don't want to move them you need to copy them. So that's command C and then go onto your desktop or wherever you want to store it in Command V. Do not move them out of the contents because if you do that, when you run messages on your Mac, you won't hear it or you might even get an error, a crash or something like that. So always copy these out of that resources folder. Then all you need to do is put those in Final Cut Pro 10 and then attach them to your messages. And once you've got one with the timing, they're pretty easy to do. As you can see here, we've got the default and sent messages. Now, what about the other ones? There are Facebook and here we have the Messenger ones as well. Now, you're going to have to Google those, I'm afraid. And what we can't do, we can't sell the sounds because they're all obviously all copyrighted. I wish we could because a lot of people have asked for them. What I'll do is I'll put a couple of links in the description below. So it'll give you the heads up of where to find those or at least put you on the path to do them as you can find them. And you don't have to pay for them either, really. So there you go. I hope that's solved the problem of where to find the message sounds. A lot of people have asked, um, so I thought I'd make a little video to explain how we got them. Thanks for watching. More to come soon. See you on the next one. Bye bye.